Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andy Rich and welcome back to episode 41 of Andy Rich Plays Subnautica Below Zero. In this episode, we are going to run it back with Penguin and Peng Jack. We've got a little plan cooking up here. So, basically, we're a little concerned about, um, okay, let's back up a little bit. If you recall, we got, actually, let me see if I can actually find it. Uh, personal? No, not personal log. It would be Sam's logs. Is it this one? Which one is it? Which one is it? Here, here. Okay, let's listen to this I together. I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. The wrong way. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Penguin research caves southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus, be brave, worry about what happens next after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home, when they send me home, where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, they can get my Augie bun back. We can cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then, maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold, no more spine. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> All right. Now's my time. I've got this. So basically, if, if you were watching while that was playing, I went straight to southeast of the Leviathan because when young, misguided, unaware Andy Rich first heard that log way, 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 way early on, he heard southeast of the Leviathan Pangolin Cave and he was like, oh, yeah, southeast of one of these chelicerates, there's probably. Uh, Pangling cave, like one of those iceberg ones in the surface. Wrong. Wrong past Andy Rich. You're so naive and stupid. Just go back to your own prior episodes. So we know now that if we just cruise our way, um, ow. If we just cruise our way back to, um, there, that Pangling cave that we went, go to, and put in Pang Jack or Pang Gwen, I do believe that we will find ourselves a antidote. So I'm gonna cut it real quick until we are grabbing, well not until we're grabbing, but after we've grabbed Pang Gwen and Pang Jack and we are going to see if we can't uncover this antidote and do what Sam couldn't do and finish the job which is curing that um, disease because we don't want that disease around again. We shouldn't be messing with it. It like almost wiped out a race of far superior beings to humans. So yeah, we're gonna put the put in the dirt, so to speak, and not frozen in ice. No, no, no. We're gonna put it in the dirt. Like we're gonna wreck this thing. So I'm gonna cut, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh shoot.
Well, um, my inventory is full. So, uh, Big Blue, you just you just stay right there. We'll come we'll come back for you. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, Big Blue, we're coming for you. Don't you worry. Look at him. He's shaking. He's so nervous. It's okay, buddy. We're here. We're here. Never fear. We are here. Um, I don't know if Big Blue. Oh, I, I did not want to board him. I would like to store him, please. Pack up. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I feel like Big Blue might not have enough endurance to make it through this trip. We'll need to look at his levels and see exactly where he's at, but I do not want to risk Big Blue's life for the sake of convenience, you know? Like, we're fine for heat, we're fine... We'll, if we go a little slower, it's not the end of the world. Let's see, how you feeling? 46 power, 41. How fast do you charge, Big Blue? Do you see how fast this thing charges and repairs itself? Like, I could just I could just sit here. I'll wait till it gets to 100 power and then we'll be fine. Hello, useless land base that I didn't even really need. How are you? What's what do I even have in here? Fabricator. Welcome aboard, Captain. And two lockers with nothing in them. Oh, there actually is stuff in here. Very cool, very cool, very cool. So we're just going to head back to where uh, that place is on Big Blue, who should be, yeah, such a fast charge. Snow Fox. Sleek, quick, speedy, definitely not easy to control. Definitely a little awkward to control. Definitely prone to running into um, walls and the like, but efficient for sure. So. We are going to head over through these caves back. We don't need to go... So, okay, if I'm remembering where this pangolin cave is approximately, we don't need to go back to... Uh, we, we don't need to go all the way back to, like, the pink tree area. Instead, we need to go um, to the place with the dock and a bunch of pangolins, the place where I tried to feed the baby the little baby pangling to the snow stalker i don't know if you guys remember that spot but i remember it fondly as the epitome of my career so i believe we just need to follow this path and again i truly have no idea if this is the most efficient path actually i'm fairly certain it's not the most efficient path but it gets me to point it from point A to point B, you know? And that, that's the ticket around here. So I think this is actually it. This little basin right here. This little crevasse. This little dimple. I don't really know what to... I don't know my geography well enough, I guess. Uh, is this it? This might not be it. We're looking for the one with the dock. So I'm thinking this is actually isn't it. Let's move along this water and see if we can't find it. So if we see the dock, we know we are in the right area. Any dockers? This is looking promising. Oh my goodness, chill Robin, it's just a freaking icicle, you're fine. I think I just went in a big loop, so maybe it's over this way? If it's not over this way, we'll just go back to where we were and take the long way around. This game punishes you for trying to be efficient, boo! And now we're back at the landing pad, so this is this was definitely not the path. Hopefully I can refine the path, that would be a little bit of a bummer if I got lost. But I think we should be okay. We just need to get back up there, which I believe we can go this way, and we will be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so going up here now, we follow along the road. Don't go down there. Drop down here. Oh, uh, uh, big blue. Everything OK over there, brother? Go this way, follow this path, and I believe this 
is the area that we are looking for. Yes, there's the dock. So we have the dock here. Hello, little panglings. And now, if I am correct, you know what? We're just gonna just to. I really don't want to get lost. So just to make sure we're in the right spot, we're gonna keep following. Wait, hold up. Is it right here? It's right here. I'm a genius. Ho ho ho! All right. I hope that dude doesn't come and uh, shred us to bits while we're controlling Pang Jack. Should be fine though, right? Alright, Jack. He sounds very close. You're not gonna bug me, right sir? Right sir? Big blue, act natural. Act natural. Whoa! The heck? What is this man doing? Big blue is bouncing out here, lads. Oh. I think he's confused. I don't think he understands where I am. I think the game is telling him I'm up here. Ah, you're stupid. Stupid, stupid. Okay, well. Dangerous weather approaching. If that's Seek the case, shelter. go, Ping Jack. Do my bidding. You're doing great out there. And we will not self destruct. Oh my, Ping Jack, all your training has led up to this moment. Whatever you do, do not fall. And would you look at that? Sam Antidote. This here. She was going to use this antibacterial agent to neutralize the bacteria. Yes, ma'am. Wait, how do I beep? Beep. 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 Sheesh! Anti antidote. Antidote. Good work, Pang Jack. You did great, buddy. Okay, let's put the appropriate materials back in there so that we don't get confused. Whoa! Cool it. Cool it, Big Blue. Oh, uh, Big Blue? Okay, we're good. Um, so the thing... I believe we need to follow these lights. Are these the right lights? I think this is it, yeah. Ugh. Big blue, just barely fitting through these narrow cracks. As long as we keep heading to the northwest, we should be good because, yeah. Because if you recall, the Pangolin Cave was to the southeast of the Leviathan, so in contrast, the Pangolin, the Leviathan, is to the northwest of the Pangolin Cave. And look, here it is. Leviathan Cave. What's going to happen when we cure the disease? I don't, I don't really know. We'll have to see. We'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it, I suppose. We're going to leave Big Blue in here. Like, I think we're all thinking it. Is this thing going to come alive? There's no way, right? Okay, so just in case, we're going to make for a quick getaway this way. I could just be very paranoid right now, and really it's not a big deal. But I don't know. Hey, buddy. If I cure you, we'll be friends, right? Right, big guy? Okay, so let's... I went the wrong way. 
Uh, this won't hurt too much, right? Oh yeah, we're fine. You're fine. So, um, we won't need to be needing our laser cutter, so let's put that... Oh, I guess we can't put it into a slot. Very good, fair enough. Aw, guys, remember when I dumped those there last episode? Look how far we've come. A day later. Crazy. Going up. Okay. Here we go. Insert antidote. Oh. Begin injection. good doing this one last thing for Sam I feel like I got some closure my people do not experience endings as you do do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something sometimes closure is a sense of resolution like knowing that even though <laughs> so it's nervous so hurts, I'll be okay I did what I came to do I found out what really happened to her and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Mm hmm? Are we good? It's not going to come alive. What if I was infected? Like, what if we injected it? But we, what we didn't think about is maybe me being ex That's not what I meant to do at all. Maybe in the process of me injecting it, I was exposed to the disease. Uh-oh. Could it be? GG. GG game. I guess we're done, though. So, with that out of the way now, we have fulfilled Robin's legacy and cured, cut off any chance of the disease that wiped out the uh, architects. There's no way it's coming back. We've cured the. Well, we didn't really cure it because it's dead, but like we we rid the carcass of its of any dormant bacteria. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. So, what now? That that is the question, I guess. We know we scanned a bunch of alien things. Oh, that's not where I want to go. So I feel like probably the way to proceed would be to get Alan's body. But we have the issue of the fact that we don't know exactly how to... We know how to make Alan's body. And I think we even have all of the materials that... Well, I think we have all the materials that we need to make it but we don't know how to craft it because like it's not like something you can make in like a vehicle modifications or the mobile vehicle bay or a fabricator like i feel like we're gonna need to do some investigating and figure out what exactly our plan needs to be here hi baby oh this could be bad oh go how did you not get hurt from that big blue you just beasted through that. Oh my. Let's freaking go. That hurt. 
Is this just the same cave that I just went in? Or is this a different one? This is simply just the same cave, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Also, holy cow. Big Blue just freaking beasted that. Also, did we launch off the geyser? Is that a thing we can do? Because if that's a thing we can do, that's pretty epic. Well, once, we, once we're driving around and we see another geyser, we'll need to test it. So I, I'm getting the feeling that this is the way through the water, and we don't really want to leave Big Blue behind, so we're not going to go that way. So I believe the other entrance is over here. We need to go back towards the dock, the dock basin. So which means we need to go southeast of here. So that direction. OK, we're good. We're on the right track. All right, guys. As we go back to our base and recuperate, I'm going to call the episode here. When we come back, I will be at our base and we will assess the situation and see exactly what we need to do next. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. I'm not looking where I'm going.